And I welcome you back to the Debrinic channel. And wow, it's been quite a while since I talked about Lake Oroville. But hey, I want to give a big shout out to Steve. He went up to Lake Oroville and kind of got the ball rolling on this one. I appreciate it. I've been working so hard on automation that I hadn't really messed too much with California. But here's Steve's video. A very, very good video here. He always delivers whenever he says he's going to deliver. And I appreciate that. You guys want to help Steve out? Send over some cash to help for his funds. My much appreciated just leave it down below and i will get that over to him if not no worries money's tight times are hard i understand but anything helps there's plenty to talk about here so let's get right into it here we are we are at the u.s drought and you can see california in general is a little bit of drought to the very north it's abnormally dry there's no red in this forecast whatsoever in the whole west now it is dry like in oregon washington and idaho montana but it's not very dry it's more dry towards the south that never really came out of drought completely like lake mead still in drought out and then the west out here even Colorado starting to get back into the drought a little bit because of the warm temperatures it's been very very hot out there so it doesn't take long for things to dry out whenever it's that extremely hot Arizona you have all this drought here and then that's what's going on here let's go look at the long term range map next now this is for January February March you can see that even though we're in an El Nino you can see that it's going to be below here equal chances here here now they're not talking about a ton of precipitation coming here like we were hoping like the normal El Nino now the weather prediction center is saying there's an equal chance here and it'll be more wet like in Florida and whatnot so we'll be watching to see if this is the case this is January February March that's usually your wettest peak here and they're not calling for above normal but they were wrong last year so they could be wrong again this year you just never know nobody saw that coming last year whatsoever so we're not going to get too worked up over these long range forecasts. Let's continue to roll out to windy.com next. Here we are at the snow depth and you can see the lower 48. There's only one spot in the lower 48 according to this map that still has snow on the ground and that's up Washington State. The only spot in the U.S. that still has snow on its cap is Mount Rainier currently according to this snow map here. Now I could be wrong. One doesn't know for sure but that's what it's saying so we'll continue to roll. We're down here at California we're going to go to the the 10 day forecast and see what's going on next as we roll out to the 10 day forecast you can see not a whole lot of precipitation coming here to California you can see maybe just a little bit over here on the eastern side of California not a lot a little bit down here maybe Santa Monica might get a little bit my friends over near Bakersfield you're talking about 0.16 possibly in the next 10 days we go to GFS we'll see they're not calling for anything across the state more down here maybe the monsoons are going to start to return back to Arizona New Mexico whatnot the west this side of the east side of the United States is going to be pretty wet so that's where we stand currently we will continue to roll on out to Lake Oroville stats next as we roll out to Lake Oroville stat you can see they're dumping a ton of water and the reason probably for that is because of the upcoming year this is generally the time they start releasing water and the water is so high still even at this date you're well above a hundred percent for the date but not the lakes not a hundred percent if that makes sense usually the lakes much lower at this point in time that's why you see all this water coming out and they're getting it prepared for the next winter season that will be happening here in the next few months it will start generally around October that's what time it started last year towards the end of October November December January February March is usually your wettest time there in California so let's continue out to the stats next as we roll out to Lake Oroville you can see that the water level is 847.52 feet and this was taken Sunday, August 6, 2023 at 7 a.m. The level is 25.48 feet below full pool of 900, and we continue to roll on. Lake Warville's water level is down 0.59 in the last 24 hours, as you can see, Steve. Lake Warville is down 13.08 feet in the last 14 days. In the last 365 days, Lake Warville is up 152.16 feet. Incredible. It got all the way up 
above 900 feet for a couple of days there in July. Pretty crazy. Who would ever thought? And we continue to roll on here as we go out to the graphs. You can see 900 is full pool and you can see 2021 we were in the yellow at 640. We were really close to inactive pool and dead pool. In 2022 last year we were at 722.36 feet. This year we're at 874.52. 630 is your inactive pool. 604 is your dead pool and we continue to roll on here. Lake Warville is up 152.16 feet from one year ago as I showed in the arrow. Lake Warville is up an astounding 233.66 feet from two years ago. Lake Warville is up 244.52 feet from an active pool, which we were really close to two years ago. And we are 270.52 feet from Deadpool. And we continue to roll on here. Your inflows are currently... 3,708. Your outflows are currently 13,161. And I want to thank Steve again for the video. Much appreciated. Let's go look at the percentage of capacities around the state because I didn't have time to update anything else. I'm still working on automation for California. I got quite a bit of it done, but not all of it just yet. So we will continue to monitor all the lakes around the country. We're going to start to expand to different places besides just the Colorado River and whatnot, but we are in California today, so we'll continue to roll out. As we are at the current reservoir water levels, you can see Lake Shasta is 84% of full, Oroville's 89% of full, New Bullard's Bar 85%, Folsom 85%. You can see they're starting to release water as I showed earlier in Steve's video. Trinity never really got up to where it should be it is 81 percent of what it normally is this time of year but it's only 57 percent and the lowest one being castillas is at 73 percent that's the lowest that i can find besides trinity so Simona is 65 percent so we could definitely use some more precipitation especially up north where it is dry in california and i want to thank steve again for his hard work you guys have a blessed day and we will see you on the next one god bless